Here to demonstrate the operation of the Wright Manufacturing 920i for the EZ series of uh, batching equipment. The first thing you do is turn the main power switch on which will boot up the 920 and get it into the program mode. As you see there's three scales, uh, scale 1, scale 2 and scale 3 which are associated with the rock, sand and cement scales. There's also a water meter that is associated with gallons of water that are going to be put in. There's calibration factors as well as uh, timing uh, issues that we will cover. Uh, there's delays where the bins will come on and turn off according to how you like the mix. The mixer uh, or the uh, panel has a supervisor menu. This menu brings us into our programming functions and our delay functions. There is a time and edit, a change password, an add and edit mix which is uh, the uh, function that you put in your weights of for your batching and a delete mix key which uh, deletes the mixes. There is a alarm time which sets the alarm time uh, if the batch doesn't have enough weight in the bins or the cement silo. There's a water setting uh, that is the calibration of the flow meter to the computer and that is a, it's a calibration factor that, that has to be met which should be written down in your manual if the function is lost. There's a, a delay scale which delays your cement at a certain amount of time from coming in. It delays your rock bin or it'll delay your sand bin. All three of these bins can be delayed as well as the water can be delayed. Uh, there's a pound and kilogram mode. Uh, if you're in Europe, you use the metric, uh, met, met, cubic metric, uh, and in the United States you'll use yardage. There is a maximum target button, which is a maximum target that the drum will hold. This is a one yard drum. We don't want to exceed one yard, so we will enter one yard or one cubic meter. There is a conveyor delay button which delays the charge conveyor, which that's the, the conveyor that throws the product into the drum. That tells how long you want the conveyor to stay on. Then there's a print ticket feed, and that uh, tells you, that, that gives functions of the printer. Then uh, there are signal delays and a signal time, which if you're using a pan mixer, these are used on the drum mixer, they are not used. Okay, there's also a select after your. We, we just popped out of the uh, program function, we got back into the normal screen that is used on a daily basis. There's a select, so there's a supervisor menu which we were just in, and there's also a select mixer button which you select that and go select your programs that you program in. Um, we're going to go back to the supervisor menu. In the supervisor menu, the most important things that you'll be using on a, uh, on a daily basis, maybe not on a daily basis, but when you're programming in a, a batch, is the add, X, add and edit mixture. Push this button, it'll get you into a mixer ID number. You have to use numbers to describe your formulas first and then a name. The numbers of course are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They go down, there's up to uh, 20 different mixes. Uh, on some of them there's up to 100. Uh, depending on how you order it. But on a standard one there's up to 20 different mix designs. You have to use a number. It cannot be a name. At this, It says enter mix ID we're going to say three because this is a third program in our list of mix designs. Enter that in our mix name. 
we're going to call this demo three. The way that you get into programming a name is you hit the up arrow key. It brings up your names, your uh, not your names, your numbers and uh, letters in upper and lower case. We're going to call this demo three. We're going to go up, use the up arrow key. The cursor will be down in the main bar right here. You have to get it up into the letters. So you hit the up arrow key. We go over to D, D, E, M, Q. Oh, I spelled that wrong. I want to get rid of that Q. So I hit the clear. It drops me back and it erases the Q and we want the O. There's the O. Then we want a space. You have to space over. There's a little space right over here. Past the parentheses. Hit the space. And uh, then we use demo three. We hit the number three. Then we have to drop the cursor back down behind the three to get rid of that. So that's, we called it number three. Now demo three. So it has a number and a name. Then we're going to enter our target for our rock. We're wanting 1,200 pounds of rock. Now this is on a per yard basis. So one yard is how we're programming this. Not on a half yard, not on a quarter, not on two yards. It's on a one yard basis. So we want 1,200 pounds per this mix design. Enter that. It's going to ask for the sand. We want uh, 1,150 pounds of sand. Enter that. We want for cement. 650 pounds of cement per yard. Then we want a uh, water target weight, which would be uh, 31 gallons for this water target weight. We're going to add the last two gallons of water by hand, which is this button, the water add button. Then uh, it's going to ask us all of, then it'll re ask us all of these in kilograms for the metric system. So we want 650 kilos of rock, uh, uh, 500 kilograms of sand, we want uh, 230 kilograms of cement, and we want uh, 112 liters of water. It'll save the mix design. We hit more, 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 and exit to get out of the uh, to get out of that menu and go into the the menu that you'll be using on a daily basis which is the select mix button. There it is. Demo 3. We just made a new program. We arrow down to that program. Enter that. We're ready to start the program. We hit we hit enter. Then it'll ask how much how many do we want in yards. Remember this is a one yard mixer. We can't put any more than one yard in. The program won't let us. We told it that it's a one yard drum and it won't allow us to put in more than one yard. So we want 0.75 of a yard. That's three quarters of a yard. Enter that. It says okay, we're ready to go. Push start. Push start. The machine will start running. To delete the program, you go into Supervisor menu. You go into Delete Mix. This is where the number is important. We use number three. It will not delete a name. It will only delete a number. You have to use a number to delete anything. So it says Enter Mix to Delete. We want to delete number three. Enter. Mix deleted. We get out of this menu. We go into the select menu. Number three is gone.